Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise Horn and I talk about all things skincare, hair care, makeup and sometimes clothing. So if that's the sort of things that you like to watch, then please do click on that subscribe button. And also come and follow me on Instagram as well because you're going to see things on Instagram that you're not going to see here on YouTube. Now today's video, I thought I would show you what I got from Wilco's. Now I've been to Wilco's today and I was pretty surprised at how much I spent to be honest. I got two big bags of stuff and it came to £85.20 which yeah like I said I was, I was quite surprised but I have got an awful lot of dog treats which we do spend quite a lot on dog treats. This bag is full of dog treats. We've only got two dogs. You'd think that we would have like a pack of 10 or something with the amount of treats that we buy. But um, I'll show you the dog treats that we, uh, we buy from Wilco's. These are the dog treats that we always get. So I got some of these. These are the tender chicken and fish rolls and it says irresistibly tasty treats that are high in protein and great for training. They are 68% chicken breast, they are 100% natural ingredients and there's no artificial colours or flavours. Now they are great for training treats because they are quite soft and you can break them up into smaller pieces so that you're not giving your dog a lot of treats when you are training them but um, these were two pounds and I'd say you get probably about 20 chicken and fish rolls in a bag um, so yeah two pounds for that the next thing that I got were these ones these are the duck and apple wraps and these are irresistibly tasty treats, easy digestible and again great for training. Now I don't use these for training, um, I just give these as a treat. It says that they're 100% natural ingredients, no artificial colours or flavours and again these were £2. Now the next one I got two bags of them. And these are the tender chicken fillets and they are irresistibly tasty treats that are high in protein and great for training. They are low fat, 92% chicken breast with no artificial colours or flavours. Now these I would say are our dog's favourite treats. They love a chicken fillet and they usually get a chicken fillet on an evening and um, usually at nine o'clock and we usually get little buddy coming up to us and asking for treats just before nine and yeah we always make sure that we wait until nine o'clock um but we have got a shih tzu and a cairn terrier and our shih tzu she uh she loves a chicken fillet and she eats them so quickly and there has been time when it got stuck in her throat because she had basically nearly swallowed it whole and so yeah definitely keep an eye on your dogs when you give them chicken fillets but um, yeah we did have to like massage her throat for her because she seemed to be having difficulties and yeah my husband went and gave her a little massage just to help it go down a little bit but uh, now we have got to uh, put the chicken fillet into little pieces for Pippa because yeah she's so greedy and she just eats them really really quickly whereas Buddy we're happy to give him a full chicken fillet and he um, he doesn't eat it really really quickly like Pippa does but these I think were five pounds each let me just have a look yeah chicken fillets are five pounds each and you do get an awful lot of chicken fillets in a bag and so those are the next treat now we got them two bags of chicken twists again this is one of the favorite treats and 
it's really funny because we'll give one to Pippa and we'll give one to Buddy and Pippa who's the Shih Tzu she um she can't eat the raw hide she gives it a go but she hasn't got very many teeth when we got her we uh, we rescued her and she she uh, she didn't her teeth were quite bad and we had to uh, take her to the vets and she had quite a lot of her teeth removed but um, she'll eat the chicken around it and then she will just walk around with the rawhide in her mouth and it gets quite soggy and then when she puts it down and she goes for a drink or she goes and um, over to the patio doors to look outside Buddy will then go and pinch the raw hide from her but uh, yeah both of them absolutely love these treats and these are £5.50 each for a bag and I would say you get probably about 30 of the chicken twists in the bag and so uh, yeah we have got two of those now I've got two packs of the chicken strips and these they are low in fat they are no wheat for sensitive tummies and uh, no artificial colours or flavours now these I would say that these are really good for training treats so we will take one of these and we'll break it up into little pieces and yeah they get them when we go out for a walk now our uh, buddy who's the cairn he was rescued and he is a really anxious dog whenever he sees another dog you can tell that it gets so anxious and he starts barking he starts lunging forward trying to get at the dog and um, yeah some dogs he's absolutely fine with he has got some friends that he knows that when we go out for a walk and he's absolutely fine with those dogs but then there's other dogs that he will go really really mental at he he goes really high pitched and he sh he like shrieks at them um but yeah if he sees a dog that he's not familiar with and he's absolutely fine with it we will tell him to sit and give him a treat just to reinforce that good behavior and to give him a treat but uh yeah he is a dog that's very very anxious but yeah really good treats for training and yeah they really like them as well and um and so yeah they're low in fat so that's good Oh, and those, if I don't know, I don't know if I've said, those are £5.50 per bag. And the last dog treats that I got are these calcium bones. So I got two bags of these and these were £5.50 and it says they're low in fat with added calcium, no artificial colours or flavours. Now with these... Um, we usually give them to them on a evening just before we go to bed so when we're getting ready for bed and we get into bed before we get into bed well before my husband gets into bed he gives them a little calcium bone and yeah they uh, they come to expect a calcium bone so for their like late night snack and so uh, yeah they love the calcium bones and Pippa the Shih Tzu can eat the calcium bone as well so she can eat all of that it's only the raw hide that she seems to have problems with but yeah those were £5.50 each so those are all the dog treats that I bought and then I got this big bag of stuff so the first thing that I'm gonna get out is a couple of bags of potpourri so I got a fresh cotton they smell really really nice and then a bag of ocean breeze and um, these were three pounds each and let me see if I can the um, my light is reflecting on the bag but um, yeah I thought 
they smell really really nice so um yeah three pounds for that one and three pounds for that one as well now the next thing I've just got out is some cotton wool balls. This is approximately 100 balls and this was 90p. And uh, yeah, I use the um, cotton wool balls for removing my nail polish, which is something that I'm gonna have to do because yeah, my nail polish, quite a lot of it has come off. Uh, story of my life. But yeah, I got a hundred balls of cotton wool for 90p. Now the next couple of items that I got were these. These are the Make It Tasty large oven trays and it's got a five-year guarantee, non-stick, it's dishwasher safe and it's nestable which is to save space so that you can pop them both together and pop them into your cupboards but um, it says that it's got a large lip for easy handling as well now um, the reason why i wanted a couple of large oven trays is because we've recently got hello fresh well i say recently we've had it quite a few weeks now well months and we love it I really really love um, cooking now and um, when I have been doing um, wedges or roasted carrots roasted beans if there's a, a lot I've been having to put them onto two trays because we've got small trays and so yeah I went out today and I went and looked for some larger oven trays and so yeah they uh, they are these ones were two pound and you got twenty five percent off and so I got these for one pound fifty each which I think is a bargain because they um, they are really sturdy they feel really good quality so I'm really really impressed with those now I'm gonna show you something that I didn't get from Wilco but it's to do with the trays. I also went to Dunelm and I bought this oven tray and this one was £3.50 and I'll show you the size difference so um, this one was £1.50 that I got from Wilco and then this one is the one that I've got from Dunelm and I've got to say they both feel like similar quality this one does feel a little bit more um better quality but this one's three pound fifty and this one full price is two pound but i got it for one pound fifty um and this says exceptional non-stick double layer coating oven safe to 230 degrees and it's dishwasher safe so both of these are dishwasher safe now um i also today popped into b m and I saw this large baking tray it's a Betty Crocker large baking tray and this one cost me four pounds so this is the most expensive and it doesn't seem as good quality it's uh, you can actually bend it a little bit um, but I didn't realize when I bought it it's got the care instructions on the back and it does say that it's not recommended for dishwasher use and yeah I do put my oven trays in the dishwasher I'm sure it'd be fine if I popped this into the dishwasher but when I got home I checked if this would fit into my oven and it doesn't fit my uh, this is bigger than my oven so I'm not going to be able to use this one anywhere the other two so the one from Wilco and the one from Dunelm those both fit into my oven but this one's a little bit too big um and so uh yeah unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use that one but yeah those are my large oven trays that I've bought I also bought a Pyrex jug 
Now I've got a Pyrex jug but it's really old, I've had it years and the red writing has, uh, has started to fade a little bit and sometimes it is quite difficult to see the measurements on the jug. So yeah, when I saw this I, uh, I thought I'll pick one up and this jug was £4 and so yeah it is a, uh, a half litre little Pyrex jug and so um, yeah a little Pyrex jug. I also bought some bag clips. Now these were a pound and they've got 25% oh, my Pyrex jug's just fallen over. They've got 25% off at the moment and so these were 75p um, and so um, yeah 75p and you get a, uh, a pack of eight little uh, little clips now I just use pegs to clip things closed but when I saw those and I thought 75p I'll grab a bag and then I can use my little bag clips instead of just my little uh, normal pegs so that's that's those. I also bought this grater. Uh, it's a flat grater. I um we I saw one that was like it had one side and then it came across and it had another side, but I just thought that was too big. Whereas this, with it being flat, I can put it in the drawer underneath my utensils tray so that it is nice and um, I can pop it into a tray so it doesn't really get in the way but uh, yeah the reason why I bought this was because on one of my HelloFresh recipes it had asked for something to be grated a, a large grater but we've only got a small grater so when I saw that these were quite large I thought that that would be quite good for the uh, for any recipes that require different types of grating now let me see how much this was I'm sure it had 25% off of it so yeah the grater was a pound and so I got it for 75p so that's that now the next couple of things that I got were 100% cotton flexi fit sheets so uh, these are super soft and smooth 180 thread count and it says that the flexi fit stretches to fit the depth of your mattress and uh, yeah it says that it's got an elastane trim is made from pure natural 180 thread cotton renowned for its fresh and cool feel against the skin whilst you sleep and it's um, the box depth is 35 centimeters um, but yeah I thought I would get a couple I've got a grey and I have got like a beige colour as well if you can see that with the lighting so yeah, I got two of those. Now these were, let me have a look, these had 25% off as well. So these were £10 for the full price. And so yeah, I got them for £7.50 each, which I think is really good for a, a fitted sheet that's 100% cotton. Now the next things that I got were by Garnier Ultimate Blends and this is the Nourishing Hair Food Banana and Coconut and so yeah I got the shampoo and conditioner and I have used the Banana and Coconut Hair Mask before by the Garnier Ultimate Blends and it was really really nice it smells beautiful and I have used the Papaya Shampoo and Conditioner and it was really nice. I would say that these are my favourite shampoo and conditioners. Um, and so I wanted to try the banana, uh, the banana scent 
and so when I saw these today and they were half price so they are usually six pounds each and I got these for three pounds each I thought right I will grab a couple because yeah I uh, I wanted to try the banana shampoo and conditioner and so yeah really looking forward to giving those a go and seeing how it is with my hair so that's them and then the very last thing that I got was this by Essence and this is the Shine Last and Go and this is in the shade Wild White Ways. Now the reason why I got white is because the last time I painted my nails I painted it with this neon orange colour and when I did the first cut I did notice that you could see my uh, the white on the end of my nails and so I put a quick dry coat over the top and then I put a second coat of the orange and again I could still see the white on the tips of my fingers well my fingernails and then when I had a look at the uh, nail polish it did say that to put a white base coat on and then that will make the colour brighter and so yeah I need to remove the uh, nail polish on my nails and then I'm gonna go in with the white nail polish before I put the um, neon orange on again because I love this colour it's a really really nice colour now this I think was £1.60 where's my receipt gone oh, there it is yes so this was £1.60 for the nail polish. But yeah, that is it. That is everything that I bought from Woolco's today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, then please do click on that subscribe button. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. All right then, thank you. Bye.